And so again, that's why we're doing the intuitive sessions. It's very, very important. And I start these off for people. I usually do two or three for the people that step up and then I hand them over to Val or Kevin or somebody else because I want to share them around so that everybody learns. That's the idea. And we're, you know, we're showing people uh, how to see for themselves. That's the whole idea. Not just listening to stories that are created on this surface world. Now, most people, they don't want to know. They don't want to hear it. They'd rather just listen to the stories and believe what they want. Fine. Okay, that's fine. All we can do is present it. But it all shows up. Everything will show up. Everything is seen by all life. So, you know, with the knowledge that people have, etc., uh, you know, what are they doing with it? I've seen people in, uh, you know, from Paul's time, etc., and all those years, and all of a sudden they go do funny things. Why? You have this knowledge, you have this awareness, but you know what? They just chase their minds is what they do. They create an idea and then they chase it, whatever it is. Okay, so, and that's fine. We can all have whatever we want. But to really see and stand real with what all life is, that's the best part, but it's a lot to go through because we can personally create things and those things actually become the obstacles. They do. All of creation is an obstacle. So we need to relook at it as a reference and not something more real than what life is. And so again, we're here to discover what life is. And of course, we can't see it because it's invisible. It's with our real awareness because all our attention is on the personal self and what we create. So these are all obstacles. No matter how good they look, no matter how good it sounds, they're all obstacles until we can go to the next step and see them as references. And then from there, get real with all life to where we don't need it, but we can still be in creation and utilize creation to help others. Big step. Again, I would, uh, you know, share the parts that you see. Some parts you don't always share. No, you don't want to, you don't need to share everything, but whatever makes sense in reference to, uh, you know, helping people recognize what's real. That's the whole idea. You know, me and the labels that I use, Dwayne the Great Writer, etc. it's not about me. It's about what I write and what I refer to. Not the personal self. I don't have my picture all over the place, etc. Nobody wants to see this old guy, etc. It's not about that. Even I do these pictures to point people to the real side, like the pictures of Rebus are. Go to the real side. See what's going on there. And however it is, how funny it is, whatever. And there are people impersonating Rebus are the real guys too. Well, you got to figure it out. You just have to figure it out. That's how it is. And it's a big challenge. So, uh, yeah, the only answer there is, is us as we keep going and eventually recognize it. And that's a huge challenge. And there's many tests along the way, just like in Kevin's experience here. You know, he's stepping up. He's doing his assignments. He's stepping up. He's facing it. All the monsters, etc. And we're all doing that in our own way. It's huge. But this is a unique time where you have the knowledge you have the experiences like never before. Compare what we're doing to all the little spiritual paths and all the stuff that's going on in the world. These people know nothing. What, what are they referring to? More silliness, gods and other places in creation to go sit and be happy. And But you're still stuck in creation. It's all obstacle. Happiness is an obstacle too. Yeah, it all is. Again, look at the sun shining. There's no happiness there. There's no belief. There's no this or that, whatever. There's no chasing anything. It's a hint to something much better. But again, got to see it, got to figure it out. But what I was saying is, is that, uh, you know, we are here in creation and we decide what creation is. Of course, we're told and then we decide what our life is and creation is. And these are these become our solid obstacles. And so it is up to us if we decide to recreate how we decide about 
what we've created and creation itself. And that is the next step, which is to see it as a reference. Just like the movies you watch, okay? You're told, you're brought up to be excited and get the thrills that, oh, this is entertainment, okay? But actually, it's not. It's actually documentaries showing you what's going on. But people, when they are thinking in the entertainment mode, they're not seeing really what's going on. You know, they're just thinking, oh, it's entertainment and, you know, there are monsters out there and things or the Matrix or whatever. Oh, that's just entertainment. It's not really happening. Well, actually, it is. And those are documentaries. So what you do is you recreate your idea of uh, what the movies are and you recreate your idea of creation and what you've created into a reference to something more to where there are no obstacles. Okay? Do you use